everybody, it's Anne. I thought it'd be really fun to do an unboxing for um, my FabFitFun starter box. Um, if you're unfamiliar with FabFitFun, they are a subscription service that sends you beauty and fashion and lifestyle objects uh, once a season. I love the word lifestyle because it like can be literally anything. So honestly, I don't know much about it either. Uh, I just have this because one of my friends is a subscriber and she had like a referral code for a free starter box So all I had to pay for for this guy was the shipping which was like five or six bucks uh, And it's supposed to have like over a hundred dollars worth of stuff in it If you don't have a referral code the starter box is $20 uh, Now the starter box starter box does have less than what a regular box would have but the regular box is like $50 uh, per season. So this is the summer 2018 box. I'm not 100% sure if all boxes are the same. I don't remember taking any kind of like personal, personalized quiz or anything the way some of these subscription services work. Um, so I don't know, they sent me what they sent me. Uh, I can't really complain because I didn't pay for it. So uh, might not stop me. I might complain anyway. Let's see what's in it. So, we've got some literature about stuff, that, some stuff about working out. I'm fab and I'm fun, but I must say the fit part of this is like the least enticing to me specifically. Um, but yeah, oh, here's a little like thing that I was just talking about, how the box is curated. Um, so they look to partner with top brands in the industry. Tarte and Kate Somerville have been featured before. Their names are even in bold, so I feel like FabFitFun really wants me to know that part. And yeah, so I think it, it does kind of look like pretty much everybody gets the same stuff. Um, oh no, I lied. It says we create several iterations of the box and discuss for weeks, sometimes months even. Merchandising, account management, Blah, 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 blah. Fun business words. Um, sometimes they even place bets on which products will be the top rated of the season. Um, there's some fun astrology nonsense. Yeah, so we'll get into that later, maybe. Or I'll throw it out, one of those things. So on to the actual products. Oh, no, that's the cheat sheet that tells me what's in it. So the first thing I'm finding is something from the brand Ahava, which is a brand I've definitely heard of, definitely seen before in like the fancy part of Ulta, never actually tried anything from here. It is a Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Now I know Dead Sea is like one of those uh, things they just throw on beauty products and apparently that makes it worth more money. I don't really, I've never really tried like a, a Dead Sea Water Hand Cream, but let's see how this works. And I will say this is a really good size too. I mean, this is 5.1 fluid ounces of hand cream. And again, I didn't pay for this other than shipping. So already, um, we're at good, good part. A um, little bit thicker than I usually like my hand creams. Uh, I work at the body shop, so I like always think in terms of those hand creams. My favorite one of all time is the Argan Oil one, which is a much more like lightweight gel kind of texture. This isn't as heavy as like our thickest one. Oh, it has kind of an all right scent though. It's like a florally, but also somewhat baby, baby powdery scent. I don't know, it's all right. I don't know, I've never been to the Dead Sea, so I don't know if it's like an accurate scent. Oh, and it is cruelty free and vegan, so that's exciting. Yeah, and just so you can kind of see it a little bit better. I'm sorry, I'm using my like iPhone flashlight as the lighting for this video, so I'm sorry if I'm like screwing with my lighting as I do this nonsense. But just so you can tell, sort of at least kind of see, like hopefully the viscosity of the hand cream. Um, I always test them kind of like meringues <laughs> if you bake. Um, but this is definitely like a hand cream you can make like a stiff peak with. It is a little bit thicker, but I've also, um, I've seen thicker. It's absorbing all right, 
Granted, I probably put way too much on. I'm even going up to my elbow now, but yeah, that's an alright one. I don't know if I'll use this like my go-to hand cream, partly because it is like a bigger bottle, and hand cream tends to be one of those things that I apply more on the go if I apply it at all, but I don't know. Free, so why not? Now we have something um, from Sponge L. Sponge LA. Sponge. A fancy French version of the word sponge. This is a Frisia freeze, Pear Beyond Cleansing Body Wash Infused Buffer. I've never heard of a body wash infused buffer. Whatsoever could this be? Ooh, so this is, as one might expect, a sponge from the, the word sponge gel. But I guess there's actual body wash in there, and then when you get it wet, you just kind of go over your body with it. And it um, definitely looks like a sponge that's rough enough to give you a little bit of an exfoliation effect as well, so that's cool. Um, this one, once again, is cruelty-free and vegan, so that's wonderful. It cleanses, exfoliates, hydrates, and massages. This is, I'm enticed by this, I must say. This multi-use body wash infused buffer sponge thingy. I can't really smell it through the package. It smells florally again, but maybe I'm just smelling that same hand cream on myself. Um, where's the ingredients? So glycerin water, stuff, stuff, stuff. Typical body wash ingredients. So it has yuzu, edelweiss, and vetever. I don't know what any of those ingredients smell like, but yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying that. That'll be like a fun thing to do on my next like spa bath day. Um, next we've got um, Free People Sleeping Mask with Love from Texas. And I am, okay. I should have probably put the hand cream on last because I'm going to have to open other stuff. So this, I guess, is just a sleeping mask, um, which I don't really ever use. I fall asleep. Oh, no, wait. I was going to say I fall asleep watching Netflix all the time, so it's weird to, to do that. But free people in underrated leather. What is Oh, it's not a sleeping mask. It's one of these things that has like the cooling gel thing that goes inside the cloth. So I guess you frigiate this and then you like put it on your face and it cools and soothes your eyes, which is really cool. I mean, let's see. Uh, oh, this vegan leather eye mask features a removable non-toxic cooling insert to keep your feeling and looking refreshed. The adjustable elastic strap offers a perfect fit every time and a charming metallic patchwork keeps you dreaming amongst the stars. Um, colors will be randomly selected. And that goes, oh, apparently I also have prices too. This hand cream, this is a $33 hand cream? Okay, $33 for that. $40 for this thing? Okay, whatever, free people. $40 for your cooling gel, whatever nonsense. This thing, the one thing that is actually like the thing intriguing me most so far, is actually the cheapest thing in the box apparently. It's um, only $16, which depending on how many uses you can get out of that, I don't think is that bad. Um, yeah, so I do have one more thing and this is like a cute little beach bag thingamajiggy. Let's see how big it is. Ah. Uh, Oh, okay. Okay, I see you, beach bag thingamajiggy. It's cute. It has a nice nautical theme. I can see myself rocking this in downtown Annapolis. I live near, like, a boating town, in case anyone who doesn't know me personally ends up stumbling across this on the internet. But this is, like, this is, like, it looks like downtown Annapolis, like, threw up on this bag, and I'm all here for it. So it's really big too. You can fit a lot of crap in there. So that's cool. I like the bag. I like this, the, or I'm definitely like curious about this thing. These things I'm like kinda meh on. Um, I, I'm sure they're good quality products, but I just don't know how much I personally am gonna use them. But overall, um, I'm impressed. I don't know 
if I would have paid $20 for it, which is like the normal starter box price. So I don't know if I'm going to like keep this subscription as a whole and commit to like $50 every season. But for like the five, six bucks, whatever I paid for shipping, more than worth it. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. This is kind of fun. Uh, and I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>